Hello everyone, this is Greg and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create a lavish modern house. This modern house has two floors of living space, where the second floor opens up into a beautiful deck. And this deck is great for relaxing on. Then underneath is a built-in garage, and also a covered walkway. On the first floor is a stunning entrance room, and there are hooks on the walls to place your coats. Then on the right side of the house is the kitchen. This kitchen has all the modern appliances, and it makes this house super comfortable. Then off the kitchen is the dining room. And this dining room has a dining room counter, and this counter is great for saving space. And then under the stairs is a built-in storage closet, and this closet is great for storing the vacuum, or any other items. Then continuing on is the garage. And this garage is a little bit smaller, but a motorcycle or a compact car would fit nice and snug in here. Then we can head upstairs. Right upstairs is a comfy little room, and it's decorated with paintings. Then right at the top of the stairs is the bathroom. This bathroom is compact, but there's a toilet and a sink. Then immediately to the right of the stairs is a bedroom, and right inside the bedroom is also a small bathroom. This bathroom has a unique L shape. Then in the same room is the master bedroom. This master bedroom has a bonus little reading area. Then across the hall is another bedroom. Then from here we can access the upper level deck, and this deck is outfitted with outdoor furniture. This house is a fun one to build, and I cannot wait to show you how to create this house. This build is broken down into 8 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. The main materials you'll need to create this house are quartz blocks, oak wood planks, light gray concrete, and quartz slabs. Also, here's a quick little side note. This house is roughly 20 by 16 blocks wide, and is 13 blocks tall. And again, these dimensions are helpful if you're building a neighborhood and need to know how close you can build next to another house. Step 1. First, let's construct the base to this house. To start, let's construct a rectangle. All the way on the right side of the house, place 6 quartz blocks down. Then pivot 90 degrees and place 13 additional blocks next to the end block. Make sure the total length of this new side is 14 blocks long. Then we can pivot 90 degrees and add 5 additional blocks, for a total length of 6 blocks. Then let's connect the rectangle back around. Next let's make another rectangle. At the back of the house, add 6 additional blocks, and make this next to the previous one. Then add 9 additional blocks for a total length of 10 blocks, then connect this to the previous rectangle. Next let's make a square. Add 6 additional blocks to the back side, then pivot 90 degrees and add 5 extra blocks for a total side length of 6 blocks. Step 2. Next let's raise the walls. Add 8 additional blocks to the base, and this will make this now a total of 9 blocks tall. Step 3. Next let's work on the roof. Use light gray concrete and create a two tall border that extends past the wall by one space. Then for the center tower, we can add two additional layers of light gray concrete, and wrap this around the center tower. Next let's add quartz slabs at the bottom of the first light gray concrete block. Then we can add another quartz slab one space above the first. Then let's wrap this around the entire house. Then 
Then for the center tower, we can add two more layers of quartz slabs. Start the first slab at the top, and then add another one one space below it. Then wrap around the center tower. And then lastly for step 3, we could fill in the center of the roof with light grey concrete blocks. Step 4. Next let's work on the overhanging deck. At the left side of the house, count up 5 spaces. At the 5th space, add an oak slab. Then we could fill in all the way to the first rectangle. Then we can add a border of light gray concrete blocks on the outside of the slabs. Next place quartz slabs at the bottom half of the light gray concrete block. And then we can add glass panes on top. Next we can make pillars that extend all the way to the ground. Make a column that lines up with the edge of the second tower. Then add quartz stairs at the base, as this will be the base molding. Then make another column at the end of the deck. Add quartz stairs around the base as well. Step 5. Next let's install the driveway and patio. First let's start with the entrance patio. Add quartz stairs between the edge of the second tower and the column. Then fill with oak planks. Then add three oak stairs in the front. Then we can add bushes. And I'm gonna make these bushes out of oak leaves. Place them on either side. Next we can use light gray concrete and make the border for the driveway. Then we can make another border lining up with the outer edge of the house. Then we can excavate the dirt and fill with black concrete. Then let's use light gray concrete blocks and make a garage door. Place buttons in the center for decoration. Step 6. Next install the doors and windows into the house. First let's make a front door. Move over 4 spaces and make room for an oak door. Then we can add glass blocks on the sides. Then we can make a window opening. And these window openings will be 2 wide by 3 spaces tall. We can make 2 of these openings in the front of the house. Start by moving over 3 spaces and up 1, and start the opening here. Then on the side of the house, move over 3 spaces and up 1 space, just like the front. And make another 2 wide by 3 tall window opening. Then we can make another one just like the front, moving over 3 spaces and up 1. And then we can make additional windows next to it. And I'm going to keep a two block spacing in between the sides. To refresh, make sure there's a one row of spacing in between the top and bottom layers. Next we can add in doors, move over 3 spaces and place a door. And then we can place another door next to it. Then we can do the same for the other side.
Then we can make a window on the side as well. Also, we can add in glass blocks on the side. And you can also add in stone brick stairs under the windows. And above the doors for extra detail. Step 7. Next is work on the inside. It's a little dark in here, so I'm going to add temporary lighting. Alright, now that's a little better. First add oak floors right inside the front door. Then we can install doors. And we can install these doors at the back of the house. Move over three spaces and place a door here. Then on the opposite wall, install a door on the third space over as well. And then we can install one more door in this room, but we're going to install this one right in the front right corner, right as you walk in the door. Then we can replace the dirt floor with oak wood planks. Then we can add extra stairs to the base. Then let's head over into the garage. We can add temporary lighting in here as well. Then let's place stone slabs down, as this will make for a rugged floor. Next let's make a staircase. In the main entrance room, place a stair at the second block back and add four levels of stair treads. Then we can add in oak slabs for the floor. We can make doors at the third space over. And we can place doors on both sides of the wall. Then we can add a second level floor on both of the side rooms. Step 8. Lastly is the interior, and now that the house is complete, you can decorate the way you prefer. However, I'll show you a step-by-step -step guide if you want to create the interior the same way as I do. First let's work on the entrance room. Place sea lanterns in the floor. And cover with carpet. This will help add extra lighting. Then we can add in an end table in the back and make this out of dark oak slabs. Then we can place item frames in the wall and glass panes in the frames, and this will act as a mirror. Then we can add extra end rods for lighting, as well as a lamp in the corner, with carpet for a lampshade. Then we can add hooks on the wall, along with another lamp. And we can make storage under the staircase. Fill in the wall with dark oak planks. And then place a door. Place a chest. And I'm even going to add a sea lantern in the floor. And this will help add extra lighting. And 
and then we could add paintings on the wall for decorations. Next, let's work on the room to the right. And we can make this the kitchen. Use dark oak planks for cabinets. Then add carpets on top. This carpet will be the countertop. Then we can add in a cauldron, along with more dark oak planks, a furnace, and this furnace will act as an oven. Then we can add in a refrigerator made out of iron blocks and place two trap doors on it with levers on the sides. Then we can add extra lighting in the floor. Then we can add extra oak slabs in the ceiling and place sea lanterns on top of these new slabs. Then place trap doors around the sea lanterns and this will be a chandelier. Then we can add item frames and place food in the item frames. Next, let's work on the dining area. Over here, we can create a counter. Start by removing five oak planks in the corner. Then we can remove another five layers of blocks below this. So now it's a total of two spaces deep. Now at the bottom of this, we could place levers and make sure to turn them on. Then we could place pistons on top of these levers. And make sure the pistons are facing upwards. Next, we can add dark oak stairs around the counters for chairs. And then we can finish the counter by adding carpet on top. Next, we can add lighting in the floor. Again, to do this, add sea lanterns and then place carpet on top. Then we can place a lamp in the corner and make this out of end rods and use carpet for a lampshade. Then we can add in paintings. And I'm gonna add a few hooks in the walls as well. And then if you'd like more lighting, we can add in extra end rods. Then in the garage, we can place item frames on the walls. And then in the item frames, I'm going to place tools. And then I'm going to also add in end rods for overhead lighting. Now let's move upstairs. We can add item frames going up the staircase. Then in the item frames, I'm going to add flowers. Next, let's add a glass railing around the staircase. Then we can add a fence post in the ceiling. and extend them down two lengths. Then add sea lanterns under these posts, and this will be a chandelier. Next, let's make a bathroom that is right at the top of the stairs. Use quartz blocks and extend the walls all the way up, and start the wall at the second block over. Next, we can add a door in. Then add an upside down stair. 
and this stair will be the toilet. Then place an iron trap door on top with a lever. This will act as the toilet lid. Then we can add in end rods for lighting. A cauldron for a sink and water in the cauldron. Then place an item frame on the wall and a white glass pane in the frame. This will act as a mirror. Then let's add in carpet and paintings. Next let's add in paintings around the room. And we can also create an end table. And then I'm going to finish this table off by placing carpet on top and carpet on the floor. Next let's move on to making the master bedroom. Let's make a small bathroom in here. Add extra quartz blocks for a wall. Then add in a door. Then we can use an upside down quartz stairs just like the last bathroom, as well as an iron trap door and a lever, a cauldron, water in the cauldron, item frame, and place a glass pane in the frame for a mirror. Place carpet on the floor. And then we can add in extra item frames. And I'm gonna place flowers in these frames. Then let's move on to the bedroom. Place dark oak planks around the back wall. Then on the sides, we can place trap doors. And these trap doors will act as dressers. Then in front of these dark oak blocks, we can place two beds. And then in front of that, we can place two chests, along with carpet around the bed, And then we have this little area over here, and we can turn this into the reading area. And then to finish this room, I'm going to place paintings for decorations. Now let's move on to the guest bedroom. Place beds in the corner, chest on the sides of the bed, and an enchantment table in the center. And then we can add carpet in the floor, and ceiling irons up top. Along with end rods in the corner, and this could be the lamp. And then we can add paintings around the room. Now let's make some outdoor furniture. Use fence posts and place carpet on top. Then we can place stairs at the base. Then to finish this house decorating off, I'm going to place flower pots around the deck. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. 
Also, make sure to subscribe because I create building tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys. Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on this channel. Make sure to check them out.